everyone i am so excited to bring you this video today to debut my coming out with my silver foxy hair wow you can see the demarcation where it's uh turning am i in the camera sorry so where it's turning uh you know coming down with the gray and i love it so i started using henna and indigo on my hair in 2012 because I found out I was allergic to commercial dyes. So I started using the henna and indigo and I used it for about six years until 2018. And then I have a video that I will post the link to about how I went through hair loss from stress. And so I have been wearing wigs for the past two years and then when I took my hair down, because I hadn't straightened it in over two years, when I straightened it, I was like, wow, I saw all the silver hair that came in and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I wanted to make this video to encourage women out there who may be going through a transition as well and going through a transition with your gray hair coming in or silver platinum white whatever color it is to encourage you to just rock it whatever it is that you decide to do for you if you decide to color your hair that's fine too but whatever your decision is let it be based on something that resonates with you and not because you are afraid of what people will think about you or because you have subscribed to the beauty standards that society has set and placed upon women. In our society, there is a double standard for women when it comes to gray hair versus gray hair on men. In our society, men, when they go gray, they're called silver fox, regardless of the age. But when women start to go gray, they are encouraged to dye their hair, they are talked about, they are talked down to, they are um, told that they are going to look old or that they do look older, that they are less attractive. And I just want to say that beauty, real beauty, comes from within. It doesn't come from a bottle. It doesn't come from sitting in a hair salon. It may make you feel better or it may make a woman feel better when their hair is becoming to them. But if it changes your whole concept of who you are because of a color change in your hair, because you have gray hair or silver hair or white hair, if that changes your whole concept of who you are, then I would say you need to go deeper and do some introspection to see where that change is really coming from. Is it coming from within or is it coming from the naysayers without? Because if a woman feels beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, glorious before the gray hair, then the hair that comes out of your scalp, the hair that sits on top of her head, whether it's gray, whether it's silver, whether it's blonde, whether it's blue, whatever color, if that woman felt sexy and beautiful before the hair change, then she should feel sexy and beautiful after. And if not, then why is that? Why is that? I'm not at all saying that everyone should, every woman should embrace their, their hair and just rock it, their gray hair starting right now or whenever. That is a personal decision and a personal choice, but let the choice be from within you and not from without. I feel the same. I feel just as beautiful, just as sexy, just as gorgeous, just as glorious as before 
I started wearing my silver foxy hair. As far as I'm concerned, the hairs that came out of this scalp, not one single person on God's green earth or beyond can claim that they put them there. Every single hair on your head is numbered. Every single hair has been designed uniquely placed there by the master himself. Man didn't make me, so why should I care about what man says about me? And I don't. And I would encourage you to have the same attitude. Now, don't get me wrong. When my hair was coming out, that was traumatic. And that was extremely concerning as well. I still knew that I was beautiful. I still felt beautiful. I still felt sexy. But I wanted my hair to look its best. So, and, and with it coming out and looking the way it was, that was not reflective of, of a sign of health. And I just always want to be healthy. And so that was concerning. I'm not talking about women either who have lost their hair from chemo or cancer, thyroid problems. That's not what I'm talking about. And I am not talking about women that just want to dye their hair because that's what they like. They like the color of black or, or brown or, or auburn or blonde. I'm just saying, Whatever it is that you decide to do, do it for you from within and not because you are concerned about what other people will say. Make the choice for yourself and don't let other people make the choice for you and know that you are beautiful regardless know that you are sexy regardless if it would have came to the point when my hair was coming out that i ended up being bald-headed i just would have been a bald-headed walking sexy foxy brown mama and nana but i would not have succumbed to someone else's standards of beauty for me and that is what i'm saying and that's why i wanted to do this video if your your hair is gray if it's silver if it's white and you want to rock it then rock it rock it for you don't change because someone else tells you that you're not beautiful tell them to go away you're not having it today and no other day so with that being said I want to tell you something really, really funny. So my four-year-old granddaughter, Bella Bella, she had not seen me with my actual hair because I had been wearing the wig. And so when she saw my hair, she said, Nana, your hair is white. I said, I know. It's because God made my hair white. And so she said, I want white hair. I asked her, well, which hair do you like the best? Because she said, you have black hair down here and white hair up there. And I said, I know. Which one do you like the best? And she said, I like the white hair the best. It's like, oh, okay. So we just have to have that childlike wonder. She has not learned the negative things she hasn't heard the negative things and internalized them, what society says about women with gray hair. She's going from a pure standard of beauty, the only one that children know before they hear all of the negative things that the world has to offer. And for her, white hair is beautiful. So, Come with that childlike wonder. Embrace your beauty. Embrace your glory. Embrace your sexy. Whatever color your hair is. But if you want to stop doing the coloring and 
just go gray. You have a lot of support out here. Until next time, thank you for watching. God bless you.